surprises. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid you're going to have to just do with me. Just plain old, everyday, handsome, dashing me. What's in the box? Helmet. Yeah, I told you. Uh, well, I'm, I'm actually a closet knight in shining armor. And, uh, you know, the armor's under here and I keep the helmet in here. Okay. The reason for this little tete a that we are enjoying is I was wondering if you wouldn't mind being uh, the uh, lady in waiting to my night uh, tomorrow night uh, with Sir Lucas of Lorenzo and Lady Alexandria of Quartermain. That sounds nice. There's also another couple coming along. Um, Laura Baldwin and uh, Robert Scorpio. Does it still sound nice? Doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother Luke. Yeah, I can see that already. Thank hey, Joe. Thank you, Joe. What's in the box? Uh, I don't think I can go through this again. See you tomorrow night, Galahad. Right, yeah. I got a lot riding on this. Hey, who hasn't, pal? Who hasn't? Come on, I'm a man of my word. You'll get him. Yeah, well, when it comes to that, Minx, I don't trust nobody. Benny, how come all of a sudden you trust the telephone, huh? You told me you don't talk business over the phone because people listen in. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'll be expecting you, huh? Yeah, I'll see you tonight. What a surprise. To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I've been trying to reach you for the past ten minutes. I was wondering about the carpool. You going to take me to work this morning? Oh, sure. I'll drop you off, but I have a rather complicated schedule today, so you'll have to kind of do without me at the office, all right? Great. I'd appreciate the ride. All right. One sec. Are you about ready to leave? Because I don't want to be late. Uh, yeah, all right. One second. Let me take a look. At what? At the coast. And it isn't clear. What do you mean? Who's out there? Our friend Robert Scorpio. Well, your friend, Robert Scorpio. I gotta lose him. I don't want this guy nosing into what I have to do today. Well, don't count on me. Because I've already been used once without any explanations about what's going on. And once is my limit. Mm -hmm. Patient. Probably got some spot at the back entrance, too. It's got me totally covered. Damn him. How am I going to get loose? I can't have somebody following me around today. You know, I hate to add to your problems, but uh, I don't think you can get out of here anyway. There are three guys moving some furniture out of another apartment, and they had this huge couch, and they were stuck in the stairway. They're probably still stuck. I had a hard time just getting up here. Really? Does that make you happy? Yeah. I couldn't be happier. My goodness, you look beautiful this morning. I didn't say that earlier, but you know, you look a lot like, at the moment, an international knockout named Lucy Johnson. What do you got cooking up? <laughs> the great escape. Meet Lloyd Johnson, a uh, professional furniture mover. Look, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to go back on taking you to work. I won't be able to do that, because I have to do the great escape, you understand? Well, can I help? Yeah. I'll tell you what you do. Keep old kangaroo breath busy while I slip in and out of some uh, waterfront warehouse, okay? To do what? Oh, no questions, only blind obedience. Uh, Laura, look, do you mind if I give you a little advice? You don't, do you? Don't be alone with that guy. I do not trust him. I think I can take care of myself famous last words. Look, I'm in a hurry. Can we go? I don't want to be late for work. Oh, excuse me. Can I get my coat? May I walk down with you? in charge, please. Uh, you said you had an emergency. Well, it's not mine. It's one of my crewmen has had an accident. But, um, look, uh, would it save everyone's time if I explain all this to the doctor instead of going through an intermediary? I am a doctor. I beg your pardon? Yes, I know. It's a terrible shock, but honest and true. I'm a doctor. I'm not just wearing this coat because I think it's cute. I'm really a licensed practitioner. 
practicing physician, honest. Well, I'm really sorry. I had uh, no idea. You don't have to apologize. I'm certainly getting used to that down here on the waterfront, where men are men and women are wives. I see. You're not only a doctor, you're uh, also a woman livers, I uh, take it. No, no. Just a realist, Mr... Castle. Mr. Tony Castle. Castle. Mr. Castle. And I'm Dr. Leslie Weber. Now then. Good. So now that we know who we are, maybe we can get down to business. What I would like you to ask is, uh, do you make house calls? Or more accurately... How's boat calls? You see, it was my first mate who had the accident. What happened? Well, he uh, slipped on the deck. I'll be happy to pay whatever you charge. No, 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 no. We're a free clinic, Mr. Castle. What's your group? What's your group? Even free clinics <laughs> can use money, I'm told. Uh, you'll get a lot better service around here if you don't wave your money around, hmm? Well, well, what have we here? An incorruptible woman? <laughs> That's what's so admirable about you Americans, your uh, honesty and uh, your absolute integrity. It rather puts us uh, Europeans off, you know. There is no compromise and negotiation, no room for it. Mr. Just... Castle, no. you said you had an injured crewman who needed attention. Of course, you're right. Um... So, uh, you'll come with me and take a look at him? I'd be glad to. So guys, can I give you a hand? You? Well, yeah, maybe if I get underneath, you know, lift from the center, it'll go down easier. Yeah, I'll see. Nice here, buddy. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll see. see. We can use the help, too. All right, well, just lift it up and I'll slip underneath. Here we go. Okay. All right, tell yeah, me, you can hurt yourself. Oh, me, I'm strong as an ox, pal. Strong as an yeah. ox. Yeah, I got the center. Lift up on that. I sure do side. appreciate this. Uh, my good deed of the day. Should have taught your boss into the gimme in a fourth man. The uh, boss is too cheap. You can say that. Man. I heard that. Watch this one. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. One minute. Oh, it's slow. Come around. Come around. Robert, hi. Yes. Well, look at you. Your nose is red. I bet you're, you're just ice cold. Your hands are as cold as ice. What did you do? Walk to the waterfront? You couldn't possibly have driven. My, what big eyes you've got. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I did drive, but I got out and walked around a little before I came in here. The weather as cold as this? My goodness, what are you trying to do? Catch pneumonia? You're worried about me. I like that. But it's not really necessary in this particular case. I'm endured colder climates than this. Then they must lose in Australia. Not quite. Tell me, uh, you seen Luke around this morning? Why? You looking for him? Yes, and I have been for some time. Oh, here I thought you stopped by to see me. Well, that's always a happy byproduct. Tell me, you're not carpooling this morning. No, no, that's not a regular thing. It's just uh, whenever it's convenient for him. I see, and it's not convenient this morning. No, it's not. See, so you've got your coat and purse. You're going to work? Uh, yeah, yeah, I was just about to. Mm -hmm. Good, well, look, uh, I'll drive you. But in the meantime, look, I'd like to go upstairs and just check to see if Luke isn't there. All right, All right. I appreciate the ride. I'll just wait right here for you uh, while you check. Uh, he might still be there. Okay, you wait right here. Mm -hmm. 